national anthem at all. I stand for the national anthem. My hand is always over my heart. We've supported the National Flag Foundation and done work with them. You know, that isn't the issue at all. The, the real issue is how do you how do you express the voices of those who feel the anthem doesn't represent them or cause, causes them consternation? Stephen A., what kind of problem does the NBA have here? <laughs> I don't think it's that big of a problem. I just think they don't look great on this particular day in regards to this issue. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is because the NBA has had a longstanding tradition that they would stand for the national anthem. Uh, that has been their position. When we were debating it about Colin Kaepernick in the National Football League, we made, how, we made it a point to highlight and illuminate the fact that while the NBA, Major League Baseball, and other sports leagues had mandated you stand for the national anthem in the National Football League, they didn't mandate it. They just strongly encouraged it. And so because that was the reality of the situation, that made us come to the defense of Colin Kaepernick even more because he clearly was not violating league policy. And we saw that there was a segment of our population that was willing to turn this into an issue of patriotism, yet they didn't turn it into that when Marshawn Lynch and others would sit down for the national anthem. They made no noise about it whatsoever. Uh, so they were cherry-picking in that regard. As it pertains to the NBA, let me get back to that. What I would say to the NBA, where the NBA looks bad, is this. If it's your policy, it's your policy. Then why wasn't it enforced from the moment that Mark Cuban didn't play the national anthem during a preseason game? This excuse about how there were no fans in attendance and once fans returns, obviously that's something that we're going to do. That doesn't hold water here. Your policy is your policy. And if you had that policy in place from the moment that Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks decide that they would not play the national anthem, all right, with the excuse that there were no fans in attendance or whatever excuse there was, the NBA should have been all over it. They were not. Not only were they not on it for the preseason game, they weren't on it for like the 11 or 12 home games that the Dallas Mavericks have had this season. You didn't say anything then either until it reached the public eye and it gained some steam and some traction and then all of a sudden here comes the NBA with this statement yesterday. So it was inconsistent. It seemed to be catering to a particular segment of our populace, which the NBA has really been accused of doing. And so that becomes a bit problematic. And it's always problematic when you say that you have a policy, but then you pick and choose when to enforce it, as opposed to just simply enforcing it, making sure that it's, that it's handled and leaving it at that. But I think that's the only reason that it's an issue. People are divided on this. I heard folks talking yesterday about the issue of patriotism again, uh, not recognizing the fact that for a lot of black Mer Americans out there, this is not old news for us. Even back in the days, you know, in post-World War II, when patriotism was a huge thing and folks wanted to sit up there and have sports leagues and others really implement the playing of the national anthem into the 70s and beyond, you had the black press uh, that elected to, to, to defer to lift every voice and sing because the national anthem, they felt, was something that was not for black people based on the lyrics and based on how the country was treating black folks, particularly black military veterans and how they were getting treated as well. But we don't need to get into all of that, not on this show. What I will tell you is that the, N the NBA, again, I think they dropped the ball, but the only reason I say they dropped the ball is that you had a policy in place. What the hell did you wait to enforce it for? You should have enforced it from day one, especially since Mark Cuban's on the record saying that he spoke to Adam Silver about it, et cetera. You should have enforced it from day one, and then this would not have been an issue. It is an issue now because the NBA allowed it to be an issue because they deviated from a policy they said they had firmly in place. No refuge can save the hireling or slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. Those are lyrics in the national anthem that we no longer sing, talking about black folk who um, defected from the, or, or, or you know, switched allegiances uh, to the British because they were slaves in, in this country. Um, that, those are lyrics in the anthem. I mean, people have, not just black people, but people with, uh, social, who are socially conscious may object to that, or maybe even. They feel that, as an American, they can feel and behave as they choose so long as they're not hurting anybody else, right? Um, I, I'll say this, Stephen A., the, what, what troubles me about this is that Mark Cuban claims, and I have no reason to doubt him here, that he did this in consultation. He consulted Adam Silver about this and then continued 
to not play the anthem, right? And this has been going on for some time, as you mentioned. Marshawn Lynch was sitting, no one noticed it. It didn't become an issue until they noticed Kaepernick was sitting. Um, the, you bring up patriotism. There is a difference between patriotism and nationalism. Patriotism is loving your country, hopefully, for how it behaves. And nationalism is loving your country no matter how it behaves. And I think there's a big difference there, and we can agree to disagree about that. That's America. The flag itself represents, in my view, your right to not have to stand for it if you so choose. And, and what, what bothers me about it, and even the insistence that it's played at all sporting events, and many people have made the point, it's not played before you eat dinner, it's not played you know, before you go to the movies, it's, not, it's played at sporting events, it's become uh, part of the sporting culture. But what bothers me about it, Stephen A., is it's a form of political correctness. I, usually when people say politically correct, they think of left-leaning politics. And maybe here you might think of right-leaning politics. But it's still political correctness in this sense. It, political, the, the problem with being politically correct and the backlash against it is that people feel rightly that, that they should be able to express themselves even if it's an unpopular position and even if it's in public. And what political correctness seeks to do, the effect it seeks to have, is to ensure that your public behavior and pronouncements conform to the majority, conform to the prevailing sentiment, and don't challenge it. And the national anthem now has become a form of political correctness, not on the left, but on the right, in my view. Hey, either, like, we all stand for this, right? Well, maybe not everybody does, and maybe not everybody wants to publicly parrot the mainstream point of view on this, which may not even be, it's certainly not as mainstream as it once was. Maybe they don't want to. The idea that sitting for it injects politics, again, like what should the NBA do? I would suggest, Stephen A., that any sports league that has a policy of standing for the anthem or playing the anthem is in fact injecting politics into sports. Because if there's nothing there, there's no political statement that can be made. If it is there and sitting for it or not standing it or, or not playing it when everyone else is playing it is a political message, if not doing it is a political message, then doing it is also a political message. So I, I, I understand where Cuban's coming from. Let's take the politics out of sports. Well, that's not exactly what Cuban is saying it because on one hand he says that Max but on, on the other hand he said he would stand for the national anthem he'd have his hand on his heart this is the stance that he would take etc what he's saying is that he recognizes the fact that it could be perceived as political but he supports it but in the same breath even though he supports it he understands there are those that don't and as a result wants to be sensitive to those folks as well and so he operated accordingly the point is is that when you are under the umbrella of an entity the likes of the NBA, whether it's the NBA, the National Football League, Major League Baseball, or anybody else. They have a right to impose whatever policy they see fit to this level. And if you choose not to be somebody who wants to, be, who, who wants to capitulate to that, then you have a decision to make and ramifications to deal with in the event that it goes against their grain. What can't happen, in my estimation, I is the inconsistency. We work for Walt Disney. There are policies that Walt Disney has in place. There are policies that ESPN has in place. And what I have religiously stated is that, excuse me, okay, the policies are the policies, but make sure they're enforced across the board. You don't enforce them with some people and don't enforce them with others. If the policy is consistent, then everybody has a decision to make and they know what they're signing up for or they know what they're signing against or refusing to capitulate to. And it's cleaner question, that way. The NBA looks bad today to answer this direct question because the NBA had a policy in place that it ignored for a period of time, which, which, which illuminates a level of inconsistency that I, get I don't that, think they I wanted. think that's, that's a fair all. point. I think, I think that's a fair point and an important point to make. What I would say is I would also stand and, and put my head over my heart as I probably you would. I would, I would assume that we both would Correct. when the national anthem is played. Um, but that doesn't mean, and, and as stand. Mark Cuban would, but that because when I stand and do it, I'm thinking about the ideals of this country. 
But so, I would respect someone who says yes, but the behavior, uh, until the behavior conforms more closely, hues more closely to the ideals, I don't want to stand. I, and Cuban's saying the same thing. Gentlemen. So but, so just not but playing, I know he doesn't NBA have oh, the issue. But oh, now the NBA has the issue. A, a very serious subject, but we do have to get to commercial break. Obviously, we've come a long way, but we know there's a very long way to go, and we can continue this conversation at a later date. Got to get into commercial break right now.